so this is your video walk through on your hampton 388 fkl all right we'll get started up front here you got your regulator at the arrow it's facing this way it's pulling your tank on the right when that right there turns red spin it over to the left open this tank up and you're back up and running tank cover just goes right over the tanks Battery's gonna be up under here and it's a brand new battery. All right, the stabilizer jacks. Whenever you get your camper leveled, um, just let, let all four of those jacks down in each corner. The gray handle there is gonna be a, a gray tank for sewer. The blue hose hanging over there is your fresh tank drain. So the red and blue hanging there is your low point drains for the whole entire camper. All right, and this one here is your black tank. The handle for it's right there. Nope, that's a gray tank, I'm sorry. This one here is your gray tank. The handle for it's right there. Water heater, it's on demand. You got on and off switch here. Water release there. Uh, if you ever build up pressure or go to store it for the winter time, drain it by releasing that. Furnace exhaust is here. Got a little bit of storage up under the bed in the back here. You got your uh, tools for your slides and for your stabilizer jacks. And you got one more drain up under here, and this one's for the shower. So always make sure that handle's open when you're using the uh, washing machine. All right, fresh tank fills here. This here is gonna be um, your black tank flush. So whenever you hook your water hose to this, always make sure your black tank handle is open. Reason being, if that tank's already full, then uh, it will come out the commode or we'll come out the vent on the roof and you don't want that city water hookup is this one and this is just outdoor water power cord comes with the camper and then your cable and satellite hookup is in here satellites left cables on the right dryer exhaust is there if you guys want to do an outdoor tv you got 110 power to power the tv and then the left the right side your cable and the left side your satellite awnings up top awning lights up under it sliding glass door Two outdoor speakers up top. You got awning lights up under this awning as well. And everything else is on the inside. So, come on in here. I'm still so stigmatized, but now we all need to work on it together. Yeah. You know, there was just an amazing. All right. So your main controls are going to be right here. All right, so you got your battery, fresh tank, black tank one, black tank two, gray one and two, and then your galley. Now the switch from gray one and two is this one here. Gray one's up top, gray two's at the bottom. Order pump for boom docking that feeds out your fresh tank and it pressurizes the whole camper. Now you got kitchen lights. Living room lights and your awning lights. Awning, living room, kitchen. All right. Slide one. Slide two. Slide 
Slide three. Slide four. And then this one is your owner. This one is the front owner. And this one is your back owner. That's pretty much it on those controls there. Drop right down below that box is gonna be your breaker box and your fuse panel. And everything is labeled what does what. These switches here, that one there is your fan. And then you got lights. All right, thermostat here. Off, fan low, fan high, cool high, cool low, cool low auto, cool high auto. Always try to run it on cool high auto, and then goes to the furnace. Up and down arrows does the temp. And this here is for a, a Vanguard uh, Wi Fi Ranger. Light switch here does slide lights. You got a wireless phone charger there. Come into the kitchen here. All right, so up top here, turns it on and off. You got your light. You got a timer right there. And then you got your fan speed. One, two, and three. Start a stove up, push in, and click. All right, so you got panel lights here. And then the right one is your oven light. Now to light the oven, turn to the flame and push in on the clicker. As you can see it, then there's holes right there. The pilot is lit. And then there comes the burner. There we go. All right, this light switch here lights over the sink. Hot water is towards you, cold water is away. All right, so you got a max air fan there. That controller does the fan up top. Refrigerator. All the controls for the fridge is right here on the right. And this is a Samsung household refrigerator. So just plugs into 110 power. This here is your refrigerator lock. So whenever you're traveling with this thing, that just goes right in the hole there. You keep these doors from flying open and messing anything up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. I'm gonna lock it down for you. All right, here we go. Microwave. That exhaust fan, high, low, and then you got your light. And then the rest of it's, so you got your convection, so hit convection. It's pretty much like an oven, 425, then start, and then it'll pretty much, you can cook a pizza or bake a cake or whatnot, never. So you cancel out, hit microwave, and then you set your seconds. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now this switch here. Lights over the microwave. All right, so you couch. So 
So you got a light switch there, lights up under. All right, that one button there is open. And then the back button is closed. Then that one there is massage. And that one is heat. And then USB port on that one. And this one's the same way. So, lights, close, open recliner. You got your massage, and then your heat. TV's on, of course. You got another wireless charger there. Fireplace. On and off switch is the first button. Second button is your fan. Uh, I mean your flame color. Third button is your rock color. Fourth button is your heat. So high, low, and high. And then you got uh, your thermostat. I mean not thermostat, your timer. And it goes for eight out nine hours. All right. Bathroom. Cold water. Hot water. When you turn the hot water on, this right here, this little box comes on. But you see the. All right, let me shut it down. Okay. So when you see the little fan there spinning, that means it's recognizing the water flow. And when you see the flame pop up, that means it's, it's fired up. And you see the temperature start rising. And it don't take long to fire. It's already here. Now, to go up on the tent, 124 times it'll go. Up and down is the temp. You can do Celsius or Fahrenheit there and on and off. This switch here is just a light switch for the bathroom, GFI outlet. So if any other outlet in the camper is not working, check that one first. Yeah. Max air fan control. When you're traveling, always keep your shower door locked down because it will shatter. It is glass. Hot water on the shower. We'll see once again. Temperature's coming up. Alright, cold water on the shower. Now your commode, halfway down on that pedal, there's gonna be water just to fill the bowl up. All the way down is flush. Alright, go upstairs, check this out. So you got a loft to the right, loft to the left. Now all of these lights up here have their own push button. You got USB ports, 110 power. Check the bedroom out. Light switch, light switch for the bedroom. Thermostat. Is your rear AC, so you got fan low, fan high, cool high, cool low, cool auto low, and cool auto high. And then off. So this is your hard curtains for your sliding door up front. And this is the same light switch as this in the loft on the lights. TV hook up there. Wash your dryer. So the top one is your dryer. That's your high and low temp. Open it, stops it. Just turn the washing machine on, select which one you want, whether you got delicates, activewear, permanent press, express, and hit start. All right. Let's 
going to be about it. So I'm going to be quiet and walk around and let you guys check it out. We'll do the same thing on the outside and then we'll be done. Alright, this concludes your video walkthrough on your Hampton. Hope you guys enjoy.